Hi there guys and uh, welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, in this video I would like to talk to you about prefab categories. Yeah, so uh, we've already talked about them briefly in the introduction video where I show you how you can build a small library environment. Uh, but in this video I would like to start from scratch and um, just you know show you um, everything that uh, you can do with uh, prefab categories. Okay, so um, I'm going to open the prefab management window by pressing the prefabs uh, button here. Uh, which will bring up this new window and I'm going to nest it right here. This is where I, where I like to have it. Uh, okay, now, so basically um, all the prefabs that you can work with in Octave have to be organized in categories. Uh, this is how, this is just how the tool works. And by default, the, the tool will create a, a category for you, which is named default. Uh, this will this will always be there. You can't remove it and you can't rename it either. Um, yeah, so it will it will always exist. But uh, you can create new categories and uh, you can uh, populate them with prefabs as you wish. And let's um, let's just see. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at a couple of ways that you can uh, you can create uh, categories and populate them with prefabs. Yeah. So I have here this uh, this folder prefabs. And if I open it, I can see that I get a, uh, I get, I have two prefabs inside it, and I have another folder, a subfolder, uh, that contains a cylinder prefab. Yeah. And what happens is, by default, if I take this folder and I just drag and drop it right here in this area, the tool is going to uh, process the folder hierarchy, and it's going to create two categories. In this particular case, it's going to create a prefabs categories category for this uh, prefabs folder right here. And uh, the prefabs which will reside in this category are the cube and the sphere, yeah. And it will also create another category called subfolder for this folder right here that will contain the cylinder prefab. Yeah, so this is one way, probably the most useful in my opinion. Um, but of course, uh, you um, you know you you get to decide what what works for you. So I'm just going to show you. Uh, something else, uh, another way of handling this folder draw process. Let me just remove all the categories. Okay, so let's just say that um, you want to drag and drop this prefabs folder, but you you only want to create a category for the for the prefabs folder. Yeah, yeah. So you don't you don't want to create another category for the subfolder. Um, you only want the topmost folder to be uh, to have a category created for it. Now, in that case, you have to go to prefabs drop settings. Uh, please ignore everything that has to do with tags. We're going to talk about tags in a separate video. Uh, for now, just ignore everything that you can see here. Um, what I want to do is I want to uh, talk about this toggle button here, process subfolders. Yeah, so this, uh, if, as long as this is checked, the tool will uh, take into account any subfolders that exist inside the folder that you drop here. Yeah, so in this case, it will uh, take all the subfolders which reside inside the prefabs folder. Now, I don't want to do that anymore, so I'm going to uncheck this. And now, if I drag the prefabs folder here, this time it created only a single category, prefabs, uh, and it, this this category contains all the pre, all the prefabs that reside inside it directly inside the folder or in any one uh, in any of its child folders for example uh, in this case uh, the the cylinder prefab which resides inside the subfolder folder okay now um there may be uh, there may be times when uh, you would also like to uh, just take a folder and uh, drop it inside inside the active category. Yeah? So you don't want to have any categories created. You just want to take a folder and drop it right here and have all the prefabs inside that folder, uh, you know, reside in the active category, whichever one is uh, active right here. Yeah. So in that case, you have to uncheck the create categories from drop folders button. And if I do that, I'm going to take and I'm going to drag and drop the prefabs folder here. And as you can see, no no category was created, but all the prefabs which exist inside this folder and any of its child folders uh, are going to be are going to be assigned um, are going to be assigned here. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is uh, pretty much pr probably the you know the most important aspects uh, that um, I wanted to talk about related to prefab categories, but. 
Uh, let's just also uh, talk about some of the actions that you can perform here. Uh, those are pretty much self-explainable, but I'm still going to go through them briefly. So you have create category, which as the name suggests, you can, uh, it, can, it can be used to create a new category. So let me just do that right now. I'm going to say uh, demo category. And if I press the create category button, uh, it's going to activate the, it's going to create the category and it's also going to activate it automatically. Uh, so now we have two categories, the default category and the demo category. And you can uh, use this uh, pop up here to switch between them as you wish. For all other categories except the default category, you can change their name. Yeah. So uh, the default category cannot have its name changed. But uh, for this category that we've just created, we can, uh, you can, we can, you can use this text field here to change its name, something like that. Um, let's see, uh, tutorial category. Yeah, there you go. Now we have default and tutorial category. Um, then you have remove active category, which uh, removes the uh, whatever category is selected here. Um, you have remove all categories. Basically, what this will do is it will remove all the categories except for the default category. Then you have remove empty categories. Yeah, uh, so empty, remove empty categories will remove all the categories that don't have any prefabs associated with them. So if I press it right now, it's going to remove the tutorial category because that's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's currently empty. Yeah, so you can see that now we have only the default. Let me just undo. Okay, uh, you have clear active category, which removes all the prefabs inside the active category and clear all categories, removes all the prefabs inside all categories. Okay, uh, then we have move all prefabs to category. Yeah, so basically, um, let's just say that I have the default category active and uh, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking over here and I want to, I want to move all these prefabs into the tutorial category. Uh, I can do that by just using this, um, uh, this button here. So, uh, move all prefabs to category and I have to choose the, the, the destination category. So I want to choose them. I, uh, pressing this button will, will move the, the prefabs in the active category to the category that I select right here. So I want to move them from uh, from the default category to the tutorial category. Now, if I press this button, you can see that they, they disappear from here. Yeah, so the default category is now empty. And if I move to the tutorial category, you can see that the prefabs were, more, were moved over here. Okay, uh, move filter prefabs to category. It's basically, um, it's basically the same, but it applies, it applies only to uh, filtered prefabs. And um, let's just talk a little bit about what I, what I mean by that. So uh, there's there's two way to filter prefabs. You can either, either filter them by tag, uh, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, um, and, but you can also filter them by name. Yeah. So for example, if I, um, I have here a cylinder, a cube and a sphere, and if I, if I write something like CU yeah, from cube, um, it, this is a name filter. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna, it's gonna show only the uh, prefabs that contain the these two letters inside their their name and um, if now if I press this uh, if I press this button here move filter prefabs to category it will move only the prefabs that you know pass this filter uh, to the chosen destination category so let's just say that in this particular case I want to move uh, this cube um, yeah so basically all all, all prefabs that contain the CU letters inside their name to the, uh, from the tutorial category to the default category. Uh, I can just press this button here. Now let me just clear this filter. You can now, you can see that the tutorial category contains only two prefabs because the cube prefab was moved to the default category. Okay, and you can also move the uh, active prefab to a destination category of your choice. Yeah, so basically this applies only to the prefab that is currently active. In this particular case, we only have the cube here, but let me just activate the tutorial category and I'm going to activate the sphere and I'm going to press this button and I'm going to move it to the default category. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. You can see that it moved from the tutorial category to the default category. Okay, so um, 
Mm, I think, yeah, I was about to end the video here, but I think let's, uh, yeah, I think it's worth talking a little bit about uh, the active prefab view that you that you have here. So basically here uh, you, you get some, some really basic information about the prefab, the active prefab. Currently this is the sphere. And you can also cycle through different uh, prefabs inside the category. I'm sorry, inside the category. So if I press the next and uh, previous button, it's gonna uh, cycle through all the prefabs. And uh, here you can also change the name of the prefab and you can also uh, assign it to a, you know, a different layer if you wish. Uh, and you can also specify if the objects that are instantiated in the scene uh, from this prefab are static or dynamic. Yeah? So if this is checked, all objects that are going to be instantiated from this prefab, uh, they're going to be marked as static. Otherwise, they're going to be marked as dynamic. Um, again, we'll ignore this, uh, this uh, area right here. Um, and uh, let's just finally let's let's talk about this button. So uh, if you press the select button here, what it's going to do is it's going to select the the active prefab inside the um, inside the project view. Yeah. So let me just do that again. Yeah. So this is what I mean. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, in the next video, we're we're gonna talk about uh, prefab tags. Okay. Bye bye.